Hey Taurus, welcome to your general reading for August. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email will be in the description box as always guys. So I was looking forward to doing Taurus reading because the only message I got was like love and light. So I really hope it's a positive reading. So let's see. Eight of Wands, movement, look at that. Maybe Cupid's arrow being shot in your direction here. But this is like forward movement, getting going. Good, good so far. Positive energy coming in for you guys. Maybe even communication for some here. Hierophant, there you go, feeling yourself. Feeling yourself on track here, I feel, uh, Taurus. Why was I going to say Capricorn? Yeah, wonderful. You know, uh, like I said, love and light there with the Hierophant. Gaining that higher knowledge. Awakenings, yeah. Two of Wands. Look at that. Choices all over the place here. Um, decisions being made. Um, you know, following the right path here. Um, I do feel like... Um, if you were waiting for somebody, you may be moving on. Um, you may have um, understood that, you know, um, the divine took them out of your life for a reason. That's just for some, but I feel like it's a very positive energy. I said in the beginning, it just feels like love and light for you guys. Things getting on track or going in the right direction here. Ten of Swords. Tens are about endings, closing down painful cycles. Definitely moving into a new cycle of love and, um, you know, away from this pain and betrayal here. So that's wonderful, Taurus. Seven of Cups. Getting lots of offers, are we? Um, I feel like it's um, offers and I feel like it's moving out of this confusing energy. I feel like it's more like you may be receiving messages in dreams as it's on the eight of wands okay and i feel like this reading will be for you, will be for somebody who's on a high spiritual path um so yeah i feel like you could be receiving messages in dreams the queen of swords also fell out so it could be telepathy that you are receiving so rather than um, if you wasn't receiving direct communication, um, that could be now coming in. But I feel like you've probably always had contact with them via um, telepathy, like that sort of connection between um, each other here. Um, Queen of Swords energy, enlightenment with the Hierophant here. But having a very clear conversation, I feel like you get to clear up a few things here. Um, so if people are confused, maybe you get to put them straight here. This is what I'm feeling. You know, if miscommunication got about, I feel like you get a chance to clear things up. OK, so that's wonderful. Yeah, in a very positive way as well here, because look at that light at the end of the sword. It's like you get to, you know, clear things up in a positive way. So if you, if you haven't had communication with them, that cycle of no communication is coming to an end. And it's up to you to decide whether you want to talk to them with the two of wands, whether you want to clear things up, the confusion here. Um, I feel like you have the support of the divine with the Hierophant here. Like I said, I do believe this is somebody who's been working on their spiritual path here. King of Pentacles. Wonderful here. So nurturing yourself. And I feel this person will have been nurturing themselves too here. Um, but... I feel like it's definitely more your energy. It could be an air sign that you're dealing with. It just seems that you're in a higher vibration than they are. So I'm not saying they're so low. I'm saying, you know, they're working things out. They're awakening here with the Queen of Swords. But I feel here um, they you are the one who's of higher vibration, okay? So maybe if you're watching, you could be an earth sign as well and you'd be the one of a higher vibration. Um, 
but here I feel like the Queen of Swords is just about, um, rather than representing people, I feel like it's being able to clear up confusion and hurt here with the Ten of Swords. So it's the end of that cycle. That's all behind you now. You can see the goodness um, out there, I feel. Page of Wands, communication. You know, being able to communicate and creatively with each other in a very passionate way, you know, in a very positive way. I feel like you've gained self-respect and confidence and now can communicate in a very passionate way, in um, a way that you can clear things up. Two of Swords. So um, here I feel like you probably was holding back or they was holding back, trying to get more information with the Two of Swords. But I feel um, it's a very minor thing, this Two of Swords. It might just be... Um, a little bit of, well, should I be the one to text them? Um, but I feel like you get to clear the air here, clear the confusion. Maybe they was trying to cover your eyes about something here, but you, um, you know, point out, look, I know you have other options and I clear the air here. Okay. Hermit mode. Yeah. So some of you are happy to be on your own and on your spiritual path during this time because you're soul searching, you're finding out about you, you're taking care of you, learning self-respect and, um, you know, really enjoying this learning here. OK, so you're on a very divine path here. The cycle of no communication is ending um, and you get a chance here to speak your part, I feel. Um, so if they are like, oh, should I answer um, or give her the truth? I feel like that no longer matters to you. I, I feel like you've gained enough self-respect that it no longer matters because I feel like if you sort of enter into this um, Two of Swords energy, it can actually cause drama next to the Page of Swords, like arguments. And I feel like you, you're learning not to fall into this trap, okay, guys? So, good luck.